The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or coming to vacation, make sure you're purchasing South Carolina-grown farm products. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Folks, welcome into this week's edition of the Sportsman's Table here at the International Culinary Institute in Myrtle Beach on the campus of Ori Georgetown Tech University. Joining me is first year culinary student Dante Passeri. He's got a great South Carolina shrimp recipe I know you all are going to enjoy. Dante, welcome to the show today. Thank I tell you, you what, up. this is going to be awesome. You've got some nice, large South Carolina shrimp. Yes. Uh, Seven Seas, Merle's Inlet. Of Inland. course. Ah, Shop there local. you go. Okay. So what are we doing first? So first, we're going to put these in the pan, and we're going to give them a nice uh, saute, a little golden brown. Oh, wow. Now, as I've always learned, and I know you have here at the Institute, never overcook the meat, period. That's right. So this is just going to be a light, what, a little red? Yep, little red, about one, two minutes. Okay. When we'll give them a turn, and then another one or two minutes, and then they'll be ready to go. Mm. We're going to keep the tails on today just for a nice presentation. Oh, yeah. So well, in the pan here, we have butter, oil, garlic, and onion. Oh, wow. And that, that's, of course, for some flavor. Well, as they're cooking, too, and you've already got, you've got your rice uh, ready to go. Yep. I mean, you know, this is, this is, this is going to be a great recipe mm. and you know when you cook shrimp and we think of South Carolina when we do think of shrimp and of so course. and especially over here along the coast that is really one of the major recipes that folks when they come here down to the south and to South Carolina they want certified they think South of Carolina some shrimp. good shrimp yep. yeah they do Dante them shrimp looking good yep they're nice and fully cooked so we're okay. gonna start with uh, our presentation for the plate so this is a uh, strawberry coulis Okay. Which is uh, strawberry and water, sugar, a little lime zest. Mm, okay, awesome. Mm. And you know, as I learn from your instructors and from all your students, you eat with your eyes before you eat with your tongue. That's right. Yeah. Got to look nice before you even <laughs> want to put it in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Oh, wow. So now we're going to take our shrimp and we're going to put them... Uh, tail up. Ah, okay. Or I should say tail down. Just like we, like I said, we like to keep the tail on for nice uh, presentation. Oh wow, okay. And those are great looking shrimp. Mm. Tell you what, Myrtle's Inlet's got it going on over That's there with right. seafood. I'm telling it's you, it's the place to be for mm -hmm. seafood. Oh wow, look at that. Woo, yeah. Mm. So now we have. Uh, some batonet carrots and asparagus. And what I did with them is I cooked them in butter, garlic, and oil as well. Oh, okay. So we, uh, you know, we bring the, the flavors together. Oh, wow, okay, awesome. Hmm. Yeah, asparagus tips. Mm. And then go. we have some green onions for garnish on our uh, rice. And there we have it, Bob. Oh, my goodness. Dante, you have outdone yourself, my friend. Thank, Thank you. you so much. And Thank you. Good luck as you continue on with your degree here at the, at the Institute, and we're really, really going to be proud of you. I hope to see you down here in one of these big restaurants in Myrtle oh, Beach one day, you. okay? Thank you. And with that, folks, as always, it's a matter of taste. Log on to CertifiedSC.com and see what's fresh on the menu for yourself. We'll be right back here again next week with another great recipe on the Sportsman's Table. To find out more information on supporting local South Carolina farmers and their products, visit CertifiedSC.com. It's a matter of taste.